Hopefully you guys have been enjoying some of these hunts from our 2021 spring turkey tour. You kidding me? Just right up, just right up the ridge, you would kill a turkey, dude. A few videos back, Zach and Ben had some crazy hunts in the hardwoods out east before coming back home, meeting up with the group for my wedding. <laughs> you nervous? No. You are looking, looking sharp. A little shout out to the born raised guys. <laughs> Once we recovered from that, it was time to get back in the woods in Iowa. With great weather in the forecast, we had high hopes for a good day in the field. But I think it's safe to say, none of us expected what was about to happen. What up, Keith? Turkey's gonna die today. Yeah. I told Ted it's gonna take 26 minutes to kill one this morning, so. <laughs> I hope you're right. I said that when I hunted with a friend last weekend, we didn't even hear a bird. Good luck, guys. You got your weapon? It's in the car. Two shells. Alright, Keith and I just pulled up to this spot. This is a spot where Jake and I hunted during second gun season. We went through all these ridges back here that go a long way from this parking lot and found a bunch of scratching back there. So we're probably just going to walk the lake edge around and get back on this long ridge that goes way out over the lake and start there and then go from there wherever we hear birds gobble. Greg and Jim are hunting just right down the road. We'll see how we do. Jake and Ward got a bird roosted and Greg had a bird roosted, so we're the only ones that don't. Maybe that's a good thing though.
Awesome. <laughs> he was right behind oh. that tree, back and forth right behind that tree the whole time. I was just like, oh. <laughs> the whole time he just kept he'd strutting and pop out. He was behind those oaks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one <laughs> wore me out. So. He did not want to move far. He probably only he probably only moved like no. He was right up there. He was right there the whole time, the whole morning. Great, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's no way he was seeing us. We hardly see you there. I think it was like 31 or something, but it seems kind of far. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like thought. it was. I couldn't get the meter perfect on him, but it was like 31, and I was like, think. Like if I knew it was not too much over 30, and be perfect. <laughs> one bird down. We got one more. One more to yeah, kill today. Tag still. Bird's goblin is crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a, a perfect morning because we kept saying, we kept talking about how Wednesday was going to be the morning because the killing day. Yeah. We knew we had backup birds in case this thing. Yeah, we figured. We're like, well, we'll start here, and then if this one doesn't we'll pan out. Way down. We've got a bunch of ground to work with. I think I thought he might have a hen or something too. I wondered, yeah, because but, he, the way he was acting. Mm -hmm. he was I figured alone. it was either that or he was just a big old guy and knew what he was doing. <laughs> That's that. There's another one out there. Here. Three different birds. <laughs> I don't know if I want to shoot another one already. <laughs> Seven thirty. Just took some pictures of this bird. One just gobble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's birds gobbling all over the place. A bunch of them back here on the public, and then a few of them up here on the private. I guess we'll take, go out and take care of this thing. <laughs> it's like wanted to stay in here and keep hunting them because there's a bunch of them gobbling down through these ridges, but. Not too far from the car, you just toss him in the car and Yeah, I'll just probably go to the car and come back. This bird was roosted right up here in one of these trees this morning. Keith and I were down on the beach walking along and he gobbled, he was like right here. And so we circled around and the whole morning he was right on this side of the ridge for, I don't know, at least an hour and a half, two hours before we eventually pulled him over to the other side. But he didn't go anywhere for the first probably two hours of daylight. Flew down and just ha hung out right here, gobbling. Not gobbling a ton, but gobbling enough for us to slip in here on him, so. Which one? There's two. One to the right, one to the left. One to the left, the Tom. Long beard. Well, we struck out this morning, but we came back to a spot that we've had a lot of luck in the past. And right when we drove by, 
we think there was maybe two toms on the opposite side of the road and then for sure one tom with a hen just down below us here might try to call here just to see if there's any turkeys down below us before we move closer to where we saw those other birds here i've heard him right here before He gobbled. Did you hear him? That's him. I don't know if they'll come up here if we need to just dive down in there and get with them. And then if they come up here, we can come back. It's all nice. I mean, that's this whole way down through there. You can call them up anywhere through there. I think right now, since we called up here and we've got them gobbling, we can drop, drop off in there and get a lot closer to that and make it a sound. That's, let's do that. Okay. Got it. We're good. <laughs> Stress me out. <laughs> to tell when they're no wide open like that for me. Pretty good ways out, eh? Oh, yeah. They're always a little further than they seem when they're out in the wide open like that for me, it seems like. Nice, dude. I mean, some people don't like it, but I do like crawling up to them like that. 
a lot of times you can either decoy them or or sneak up to them like that grass over there is set up where i mean you can it's this tall and you can just rise up get in the shadows glass them make sure they're still there and i mean they spent i mean ever since they got onto the field this is where we first saw them they were within 100 yards of here so yeah we're right back in there good shadows good cover had got them one today i wonder if jim and i imagine jim and i would think they've been on turkey Greg been on some ted probably will go out and get another one yet today <laughs> this would be the day to do it ted yeah oh yeah he's he's hunting still is he he took the canoe and the boat and was yeah. headed up in there Oh, oh got? boy. Oh, he's long, boys. 51 and a half. Oh <laughs> my God. No, 52 if you stretch no the snoot way. out a little bit. Well, it's about 12.30 right now. Come in for a kind of a quick midday hunt. Jim, he's got to leave at about two o'clock, so we've got about an hour and a half to do some midday hunting here, try to strike up a gobbler. And the plan for this afternoon is, or just for the short amount of time is, just pop these ridges, call. It's still, it's dead calm today. It's perfect, beautiful it's weather. It's still cool too, which is cool. Great. It's about 60 degrees, so it's just a perfect weather day. You find a lonely gobbler midday like this, it can be over like that. So Ted shot one this morning, fired up for him. I think he's back out trying to get a second one. So hopefully Aaron and Aaron and Jay can get on one and maybe we can pull off a triple today. through there. I try to get up to these oaks here. Uh, the same pad right here. Uh, yep, right there. stuff to shoot through. I got branches in my way. Just hold steady. Hold still. 
still got branches in the way. How about that, Jim? Dude, what Dude. a beautiful timber hunt. That was awesome. That was... Yep. That's no joke right there. This is no joke. We didn't have much time to get set up. We came down off this ridge a little bit, just got tucked up against this kind of small little oak tree here in the shadows and just pulled him up over that ridge, just pretty as can be. Thanks for being here, brother. Oh my gosh, this is... Just... That was awesome. I mean, you're just perfectly tucked in the shadows there. And I was down below this vegetation right here. I mean, he didn't have a clue. Yes. Uh, that never gets old. Doesn't have much of a beard. He does have beard rot. How about that? Well, the morning is hard to beat when they're gobbling on the limb. That's so much fun to be out there. But it seems like, I don't know, half the time or maybe more often than not, we're killing birds late in the morning or midday like this. Especially when you get a beautiful weather day like this, it's calm. You can cover or you cast the call into so much country. <laughs> All right, guys, it's about 11 o'clock right now and Keith and I are getting this canoe loaded up. Went out this morning, ended up shooting a bird, came back to the house, got the footage captured, got the bird taken care of. Now we're gonna load this kayak up, head to the water, see if we can't strike us another one. What do you think so far, Keith? I don't really see any reason why it won't take us more than two hours to kill another one. Sitting here talking about wildlife. All these wild buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> got wild buffalo. Can't roll or skate in a buffalo herd. All right, Keith and I are about to get in this canoe and go cruising down this river. It's about the perfect level right now. And uh, Warb and Jake actually just killed a bird back in there. They were back that way, so we're gonna go that way. Sounds like they're going right back in there, but birds are hot today, so we gotta keep on them while we can. Next couple days aren't gonna be as good, so we're just gonna cruise down the river, get out and call. Might not even have to get out, might just stand up in the canoe and call, but we'll see. Should be a lot of birds back here. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon, perfect time to kill. Let's get on down there. Yep, <laughs> so since we stuck him from the canoe. So we're gonna hop back in the canoe and keep moving. There's a ton of ground back here that we can work with and try and strike another one. So we'll go try and find one that's a little more ready to play.
Dude, are you Holy freaking crap. kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dude! That was wild! <laughs> Tagged out. One day. You stoned him that time, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. He was right there. I thought he was gonna pop up. Good I eye. He, I thought he was here, yeah. And then I looked over and I saw the top of his fan. I, I like, could hear him. Dude, that was absolutely insane. That had to be. Eight yards, dude. Yeah, at most. I what? I'm sure he was right here. Like I did too, that's where I was that. looking. And you could hear him when he drummed, he, he would go, mm -hmm. and you could hear it go. Yeah, I know, that's like why that. you could hear the like, cracks going. I'm like, he's you know, gotta he's close, be like, yeah. right here, dude. That was a that freaking was intense, awesome dude. one, dude. I wish I could have, like, seen him for longer, but I think, like, right when I saw him is right when he stepped up it. He wasn't even looking at where we were. He was looking well, he right. he started to, and because like, he strutted, and then he, his head was just like this, looking. Give yeah. ourselves a gimme river bottom, bird, dude. <laughs> Heck dude. Yeah, that was so fun. Right, right when we called, he gobbled. And he must have been strutting right here, like. Yeah. Maybe like forty yards from the say, boat, yeah, if that. Fifty for sure. Yeah, yeah just like. <laughs> And then it was he got like, again on his own. yeah, and then he got with again. It was like, oh yeah, he's gonna come in gonna if be. we can get up there. <laughs> he would have been pretty much right here, where he's at. Honestly, it was a perfect setup right there. I knew if we could get yeah. at least right behind that tree, we were yeah, I mean, set. That's what we'd said when we were rowing up the river. We're like, well, let's go right here where this tree is. So we can pop up behind it and look. All right, we got him loaded up in the canoe. We're gonna paddle back down the river, probably take us 10 minutes and then meet up with Warb and Jake. They've both got tags still, so me and Keith are gonna split up and film them for the rest of the day. Sounds like Greg got one too, Jake got one, we got two, so it's a heck of a day to be hunting turkeys, that's for sure. All right, we're signing this bird in. Just got back to the car. This app is really handy. You just, just have it on your phone and you can sign in and you can purchase a license or once you get one, fill out the harvest registration on your phone too. Makes it real simple. Then you just put the confirmation number on the rest of your tag and throw it on the bird and you're good to go. This one I'm gonna do real quick is sign the bird in and should be good to go. Me and Keith are trying to make a little evening magic out here tonight. Killed a pile of them today in Iowa so far. Been a heck of a day in the woods. We got about an hour and a half, two hours yet before dark. We just hopped off the road into a new area. We're gonna creep back in here. Listen, maybe we'll get something to gobble. That road noise in the background I don't like, but...
I see. You're perfect, dude. dude this is every, every time. <laughs> Remember I was telling you earlier? Remember I was telling you I held steady, dude. Oh, that was super That was, steady. the jig was up, dude. That was absolutely The jig was up. Perfect, you were like, can you kill him right there? I'm like, no. But then he went, doo 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 doo. <laughs> we were coming down in here, heard him gobbling in there. We're looking at all this multi-floor rows and just thick stuff. We're like, no way he's coming through this. And we worked him for a good half hour or more. He played the game. Dude, that was super fun. That was, I, what do you think about this? <laughs> you filmed in, three I, turkeys die today. The best day I've ever had. It was already <laughs> the best day before that. Even. <laughs> Holy cow. Man, I love turkey hunting, dude. <laughs> I freaking love turkey hunting. <laughs> For that exact reason, I right think. Dude, we killed a turkey earlier today. Jake killed a turkey that, I'm not kidding you, probably weighs close to 30 pounds. It might literally be 30 pounds. And I bet you this Tom this right here is 16. But he, he came up here looking, and then he went back down, and that's what he was looking for, is just a clear path through that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then once he hit that deer trail, I mean, y'all can probably see it. If you get right down here over the turkey, that's what he was coming down, just strutting back and forth. It's just thick enough that he 
has to come looking, but yep. like you still have the cover and everything. You still got plenty of time to head to, head to the high V. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> um, what's today's date? I'm shaking so bad five, I don't five. know. I can... Five birds on five five. Just, uh, just coming through the timber, pow, goblin looking for us, man. Getting to watch him walk kind of right oh, down the pipe. Man. That, was, just that get last to... time when I saw him, I was just like, he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was 30 yards, was it? Yeah, probably. Think, yeah. 30. I had to shoot through some stuff, but that was it. Jig was up. That's a day right there. That's a day. That's why we do this. Goblin coming through the timber to a call looking for you. Nervous wreck, boy. That was awesome. Dude. That's why you don't go home early. Oh, that's why you don't go home early. <laughs> we just about did. I was just like, yeah, I got some grocery shopping to do. I got videos to capture. And we we're like, nah, let's just swoop back here real quick, just for 15 or 20 minutes. If there's one <laughs> goblin, we'll go after him. And sure enough, worked out pretty perfect. Worked out pretty perfect. Let's head to the ranch, Keith. <laughs>